Good morning, everybody, and happy Saturday to you. I have been praying for you all, and I hope that you all have had a blessed, blessed week. My week was so much better this week than last week as I used my tools in the process to help my mind stay stayed on Jesus. Um, I was thinking about what I wanted to share with you all today, and I wanted to talk about um, getting delivered. So, a couple of videos ago, I talked about strongholds, and I shared with you my stronghold, which is insecurity, selfishness. Um, these things that strongholds are things that keep us from, holds us back from doing the work of the Lord. Um, strongholds is what strongly weighs us down from being free or being who the people that we're called to be. And so, knowing that we have these strongholds, there's a process of getting delivered from them. The word delivered means set free. There's a process of getting set free from your strongholds. Now, how do we get strongholds? We get strongholds because genetics, environment, things that the enemy pours into us from our generations, from our families, from our friends. You know, the things that we engage ourselves in, these strongholds start building up. And next thing you know, we've got this whole bunch of bricks, whole bunch of weight weighing us down, holding us down from now. We're trying to be free and live for Christ. And like, we have to get rid of all the bricks before we can truly be free. You can't serve God and have a whole lot of strongholds because... The strongholds set us apart from God. You know, my insecurities of feeling less than and feeling like I don't like the way that I sound or feeling all these things about myself kept me from understanding who I was in the kingdom, kept me from doing kingdom work, kept me from worshiping, kept me from having a relationship with God. It all works together. So I wanted to talk about getting delivered. There is a process of getting delivered. The first part of the process of being delivered is understanding what your stronghold is. What is my stronghold? What are some things that are keeping me from being all that I can be for the kingdom? What are they? You know, I talk about mine, insecurity, selfishness, laziness. I have a tendency sometimes to not want to do anything just lay around I mean just lay around and do nothing that's a stronghold it's separating me selfishness pride anger those are strongholds having too much pride God can't use you if you're in your pride if you're very prideful God can't use you if you're angry all the time I know a couple videos ago I said that you're going to go through some things. You're going to suffer some things. If you're angry about every little thing, you're going to miss the, the purpose, the lesson. You're going to miss God. Strongholds allow us to miss God. Miss our opportunity. It's a blinder. It's weight on us. It keeps us from being true worshipers. It keeps us from living how we were intended to live for the kingdom. So first things first is you have to understand what's keeping me from God. What's holding me back? What are, what are these characteristics that are imperfect but holding me back from being kingdom, per kingdom minded, being a kingdom person? We were not created to have strongholds. We were created to worship and praise. We were created to demonstrate how Jesus Christ walked this earth. So once you understand what your stronghold is, the things that are keeping you back or holding you down, then you take it to God in prayer. God, deliver me from my stronghold. And I'm going to tell you something that happens after you pray that prayer. After you pray that prayer, next thing you know, situations are going to start happening. 
tests are going to start coming. Things are just going to start piling up on you. You know, I thought that once I said, God, free me from my deliverance, I would be running in the field just free, just, just set free. But no, we've done so much. Now we have to undo all of these things and grow. And then another another day I'll talk about maintaining your deliverance. Then you got to maintain and keep up with what you've a lot been free from. So it's it's things are going to begin to just happen. You're going to start seeing things in the spirit you're going to, God is going to be, te you're going to have test after test after test. Because the only way that you could truly get delivered is by not doing what you've done in the past. So the test is going to come again. What do I do? Well, God is helping you become delivered. So what do you do? The opposite of what you used to do, because what you used to do only made it only made your stronghold grow so for an example for myself if i spend all my time busy 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 and at the end of the day i just come home take a shower i don't want to clean up i don't want to do anything i don't want to put fold clothes nothing i just want to go to bed and the next day start from 6 30 a.m till 9 o'clock p.m running all day and then the things that i need to do get pushed over to the side next thing you know three days have passed my room is a mess stuff is a mess everything is out of order god can't flow in a place of unclean clutter he can't flow in that environment and i'm asking god to fill me up and flow in my life so what do i do how do i get delivered from the stronghold of selfishness and laziness because it's selfish to myself and the people that I live with, it's unfair to them and to myself. Okay. I need to do something different. If you want something different, you need to do something different. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself a schedule. Do the best that I can by putting priorities at the top. What I definitely need to get done down to what can maybe get done this day or maybe cannot. Then I'm going to set a time to pray. I'm going to set a time to spend with God. You know, we think we can do this. We think, oh, I'll talk to God. I'll pray. I'll pray later. But life happens. Things happen. Time. There's not enough time in the day. Oh, but there is enough time in the day. We just don't make time for ourselves. We don't make time for God. Okay, I need to clean up a little bit every day. A little bit every day a little bit here a little bit there and every day you remain being consistent you're gonna fall short there are some days that I've fallen short but I realized it and I pick back up it's work it's work because we've created so much now we have to undo so much and it's going to take work. It is. Every day we have to die to ourself. Every day we have to spend time with God. Every day we need to somehow connect with the, his word. Every day. Every day we need to hear some kind of gospel. Every day. To get delivered. You don't go through the process on a Monday. And think that, okay, I did it one day, I'm done. Every day. There's going to be tests. The tests are to strengthen you. The tests are to get you delivered. The tests are to draw you closer to God. Don't run from the test. It's an answered prayer. Situations are answered prayers. 
whether you believe that or not, a situation is connected to the prayer that you prayed. God, help me to be more patient. Well, not, next thing you know, you have five children and you're working on your patience. Next thing you know, your car breaks down and you're working on your patience. Next thing you know, you get more stuff added to your schedule and you just said, I want to work on cleaning up my room and being consistent and spending some more time with the Lord. Next thing you know, your schedule gets all crazy. We have to think of these things. We have to think before we do. Now that I want to be delivered. I have to start thinking things through. You know, once I, I've, I've said this a thousand times, I never want to be on this earth and not be growing. But if I'm going to be growing, that means I'm going to need to do the work. Like I said, dying to the self, God, eliminate me. God, take me out of the equation so that you can have your way. God, show me. God, send me. God, help me to see the things that I'm weak in, my, my, my strongholds. Help me to see them. Help me to be better. Your situations are created for you to be better. How do we get delivered? Don't give in all the time to the enemy. It's a trick. But God allows it because you asked to be, to be delivered from anger. So he puts you in a position where you're going to be angry. What are you going to do? Pray. Seek God. Take a step back. Breathe. And all of these things we have to be consistent with. Once again, don't just... Don't just try to get delivered on a Monday. Every day, whether you don't feel like it or not. Strive to be better. Strive to do better. Strive to get free. There's a better you. God created a better you. And the strongholds, the enemy, wants, don't want you to ever meet that person that God created you to be. But it's very possible. God sent Jesus Christ to die for your sins so that you can be free. We don't have to live bound and binded. We don't have to live that way. But the thing about it is, sometimes our strongholds are so great, we don't even want to do the work. We don't even want to put in the time. But I guarantee you, if you do, you will develop a stronger relationship with God. He will share secrets with you. You guys will become so much closer. You will be able to see in the spirit before the flesh. You become and you'll you'll go to a greater level with him. And and experience him in a way that I've never thought that I can experience him just by being consistent of with the process of getting delivered. Just for just by not giving in to the enemy every time he roars. It's time to get delivered. Soul search. What is it that's holding me back from the kingdom of God? What is it? God, what do I need to do? I'm telling you, situations are going to start happening. But it's for your deliverance. So as I pray today, I pray that you all have another blessed week. I pray that you all do the work. I pray that you all understand that where you are and how you are is not how God sees you. It's not what he created you to be. There's more. There's better. There's so much more for you to see. Father God, I thank you so much right now for this opportunity. I thank you for this Saturday. I thank you for loving us, God. I thank you for keeping us, God. I thank you for caring for us, God. God, you allow situations in our lives to make us better, God. Help us to see in the spirit and not in the natural, God. Help us to see that whatever you allow is connected to our deliverance and connected to you. Father, somebody wants to break free today. 
somebody wants to become delivered today they're tired of living in bondage they're tired of living bound they are ready to live like true worshipers they're ready to live like kingdom people they're ready to live for you god and in order for that to happen god they need to get delivered from our their strongholds god help me to get delivered from my stronghold every day is a new day to get delivered Father, I thank you for showing me. I thank you for teaching me. I thank you for never giving up on me. Father God, just as you do for me, you will do for your other children, God. We just have to do the work and remain consistent. God, we bless you and we love you, God. We do this for you, God. We want to be like you, God. We want you in our lives, God. We want you to be able to dwell free in our homes, God. We want our children to know about you, God. We want to be examples and role models, Father God. So help us to get delivered from our strongholds, God. You did not create us this way. I thank you, God, for another opportunity and a second chance. Oh, God, we love you and we thank you. God, I pray that they have a blessed week. I pray that my week goes blessed. God, help us to be all that we can for the kingdom, for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, okay. I love you guys. Do the work. But do the process, go through it so that you can come out better, so that you can come out renewed. We should never be the same as we were. We should always be striving to be better. I love you. Have a blessed week.